way to give out an award to Tim Hicks and his 240Z for one of the Pit and Paddock Best of Show Awards. This thing is incredible. It's a complete custom carbon body and most of the unibody. He did the entire car himself. These are the decals that we're putting on to the car right before the show. Uh, SEMA opens up in, I don't know, five minutes. Welcome back to the Legacy Electric Z series. Uh, this is gonna be our SEMA coverage episode. We are back here in Baltimore after our 92 hours of driving there back. We're gonna get into everything very soon, but I just wanna thank everybody um, that's been following us on YouTube and following the whole build series. A lot of people have been following us since our last Carbon Z that we started in like 2018. So it's definitely because of you guys that we've you know had this following and it's been like so cool building this community on YouTube. So we wanna definitely just thank you guys for being along for the ride. Just slice this semi-clean. Actually, don't worry about it. Because it's not worth risking it. We'll just make another bag. Okay. So just slice it open, rip it open. Yep. Take these two out. Yep. Tinted brown. I feel like I could sand this really nice and smooth and clear coated. Poor sword has lost the chip edge. That was decent amount of transparency. Yeah. I'm excited to go test it on again. 
It's a weird eyeball. <laughs> you can't really see any of the oil through it, though. It is fairly dark over here. That's true, too. If you did something with that dish. Hey. <laughs> Didn't work at all. Well, technically, we're from. Not gonna like get really good. that much of a difference. Oh, it is slightly closer on the front. Yep. It is kind of cool. Uh Hey bro, how are you? What's up, man? Man, that's life. You made it. You made it. You yeah, made it to the big time. We made it. Congrats. Life is good. Man, interior looks good. Yeah. Really good. Chen Da photos, yeah. So what are your thoughts? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I mean, it's all it's right. Okay. No, it's it's incredible. It's it's one of the cars of the show for me here. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. I did the last car. Hey, stop turning red, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I did the last car. I got to do this one too. All right. I still have the sticker on my last car too. Uh, so it is finally ready to rip, but of course with this build I have not had any time to drive it. But yeah, hopefully it will be driven with purpose very soon. Yes, dude. Sorry, Rob. No work. And most of these panels are just like three layers of 3K. The panels that you really touch you have like a foam backing. Like this is a nice and pretty good foam backing. All right, I'm here with Robbie from CSF, and uh, he really made this whole thing happen. So everybody give CSF a bunch of love. Um, we're obviously using the radiators, but he also helped us get it here, and uh, yeah, it's been an amazing, amazing experience. Wouldn't be possible without them. So it's uh, it's great to be here. It was awesome to have uh, you know Tim, you here with the car. Uh, you know, for your first SEMA build, I think it's absolutely exceptional, and I think everybody who saw the car during the week. Uh, sees that as well. Yeah. Uh, the response has been amazing, and like I always tell people, the, every year at SEMA it's different because of the experience you have with the people whose cars you have in the booth, and this year has been an awesome experience. So, great having you here, Street Bandito, you guys are awesome, and can't wait to see what, else, what happens next with the car. Cool, yeah, thank Cheers. you for believing in us. Of course, man, appreciate yeah. it. So now that we're back in Baltimore, <laughs> How was that experience? Like, how did it make you feel? Uh, dude, it was wild. Actually, my body could not handle it. As soon as I got back in Baltimore, I got immediately sick. <laughs> I was sick for a couple of days. This is my first day back in the shop. But um, it was surreal. I met some of the coolest people in the industry. I mean, you've seen in the video now, like meeting Mike Burroughs, meeting uh, Ryan Bassery, meeting ev everybody that we met was just crazy like yeah, so many people from the industry that I like, grew up watching I wish I got to talk to BC Moto but I mean I saw him really quickly running by and I was like I want to talk to you dude and he was like cool and he's like, <laughs> like eventually we'll talk that'd be cool but um but yeah it was it was awesome like being Battle of the Bills was cool being uh getting like nominated and then getting uh first place in the pit and paddock best of show and the award I don't have it here anymore but it was literally a like a gorgeous pelican case, the locking one. Like yeah, it's very, very, very nice. It's very useful for an award. So good job, guys. That was sick. But yeah, it was surreal. One thing I will say is like everyone just kept saying, "Don't get overwhelmed." There's no chance to not be overwhelmed. <laughs> it was very overwhelming the entire thing. Um, yeah, it'd be cool if it was like expanded over a longer period of time, like meeting all these people and having more time to talk to everybody. But if you came by the booth and uh, you saw the car, hopefully I got a chance to talk to you. I wish I could have talked to a lot of you guys longer, but um, you know, that is the nature of the beast. It's like you only have five days there at SEMA, really four days, because the first day is set up.
but um, it was really, really cool meeting a lot of the, our subscribers say, from different, yeah. different states, like different countries. Yeah, it was super surreal. Um, it's real, doesn't it? It doesn't feel real now, and it's been like two weeks now. Until next time, guys, thank you for being a part of this. Thank you.